Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now for everybody that had the Galaxy Fireball 7, I got two words, we back. Samsung Knight, stand up, let's go, let's get hype. Now as y'all can see by this big black box, giggity, this is not the retail version. Now shout out to Samsung The Plug for hitting me off with the press box. On a side note, I did pre-order the official tissue version. That one will be here this week. So we'll use that one to do a real review. But in the meantime, we'll check this one out. We'll go through some of the features. And then we can start doing these case videos because I know my case of Horlix is ready to go. Now y'all know I hate talking about specs. And this is one time that I'm not even going to waste y'all time talking about the specs because unless you've been living under a rock you know the specs already now i'll leave them in the description just in case but basically top of the line everything all right so you got the top of the line processor top of the line gpu top of the line display top of the line cameras and a big giant battery the phone is water resistant wireless charge you got the s pen basically you got everything this is going to be the phone of the year all right so let's check this out big black box samsung branding here we go. Now on the inside, they sent over the fast wireless charge. Now shout out to everybody that watches my videos. I got a full review on this already. I use this every single day of the week. All right, this is my favorite fast charger. This one is thought proof. All right, this one has the leather, leatherish feel to it. And you slide this one open and you can use this in portrait or landscape mode. Now the reason I say it's thought proof is, y'all remember last year's version? Now this one, you can only use it with your phone standing straight up. So this way, if you're chilling and you get that Pizza Hut phone call, everybody can see it. Now with the newer version, you can lay it down flat and have your phone face up. So for those nosy people, it's gonna be harder to see it. All right, so we got the Samsung fast charge on deck. Let's see what else is in here. Quick start guide, plug it, file it to the side. Here's your power brick and your USB Type-C charging cable. Simple and straightforward. On the side note, get this. All right, if you got a Galaxy phone that has wireless charge built into it, get this, trust me. And here we go, Galaxy Note 8. Now everybody been asking me what color did I pre-order? I got the black version, y'all yeah, know, always bet on black. Let's see which one did they send, Midnight Black. All right, so this is a plus. All right. <laughs> no need to go through all that stuff. Let's get right into the action. Whew. All right, let me slow down. Samsung Knights, I know. This is what we all been waiting for. Let's get busy. Inside, here's your phone. All right, so this one is a T-Mobile. Got the T-Mobile SIM. Now, y'all heard me say this before. HTC U11, the most beautiful phone on the market. But this might be taking the title. All right, we got some plastic. Say it with me, y'all. Rah! One more. Rah! And we'll get this plastic off the back. Little sticker. Sticker struggles on deck. Hold up. All right, check this out. Maximum effect. This might be the best looking phone out right now. Specifically, the black version. Because this way, the black in the back of the camera is blacked out. So if you've seen the blue, or you've seen the ultra gray, or you've seen the gold one, the back is one color, then the camera's black, but on the black on black, all black everything, the Wesley Snipes version, it just looks beautiful. And when the display is off, you can barely see the bezels. It looks like you're just holding a black piece of shiny glass. This one is a win, this is my favorite color. All right, let's see what else is inside the box. Let's see, usual books and shit, why not? Pluck them, file them to the side. Here's your SIM ejection tool, you're gonna need that. Flick of the wrist. Now you get some adapters. So here's your Samsung OTG. Transfer your information from your computer. Real simple. And you get your micro USB to uh, USB type C adapter. Now I love these because I got a bunch of old school products that still use micro USB chargers. So now you don't have to upgrade. Just use this little adapter. And of course, here's your power brick. Let's see what else. Now keep in mind, 960 bucks. We'll talk about the pricing and all that when I get the official version. 960 bucks, basically $1,000. This is the kind of presentation you want to see. You want everything. All right, you want some headphones, not just some little cheesy headphones. These are tuned by AKG. 
Now I gotta do a comparison with these and the HTC U11 headphones, which I think are the best so far. But once I hear these, Will, I'll let y'all know, but these headphones are definitely boss. All right, so you get some banging headphones included. You get some different size earbuds. And you get your S Pen tip removal tool and some extra uh, tips for the S Pen. Two different colors, black and silver. Or is that black and white? Whatever, two different colors. Now, out of all the years of having Galaxy Notes, I never had to change these. But then again, I don't draw using my S Pen, so it depends. If you're an artist and you draw, you might use your S Pen a little bit more. It is what it is. And of course, USB Type-C charging cable. So that's pretty much it. Now, real talk, for a thousand bucks, this should have been the retail presentation. I don't see why they didn't just go with this big box. That would have been great. You wouldn't even mind spending a thousand bucks if you got this in your hands. Trust me. Back to the phone. Whew. Feels so good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. All right, let's hit the power button, see if we got any juice. There we go. You got your cameras on the front. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. You got your you got your, your micro SD card slot on the top. Got a little mic on one side. You got your volume up and down. There's your Bixby button. Now we'll talk about Bixby. Ever since the Bixby updates, I do use it a little bit more. But then again, I'm not a big into all these assistants, but it does come in handy. Got your power button on the bottom. You got your speaker grill, microphone, USB type C, headphone jack. Headphone jack, Apple, headphone jack, and of course, the reason you buy in this phone, the S Pen. Now look, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. If you don't use the S Pen, if you had a Galaxy Note, either the two, three, four, five, Fireball, whichever one you had, maybe the Note Edge, if you found yourself using the phone every day and not using the S Pen, don't spend 960 bucks on this. Get a Galaxy S8 Plus. Basically the same phone, almost the same size, but cheaper. Unless you just want to be that dude that got the latest and greatest. I ain't mad at that. All right, so let's set this up real quick. Let me uh, put some of my information in. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so here we go. Now I'm in the process of downloading 126 apps in the background, but I just wanted to show y'all some of the different options you got. You got face recognition. You got the fingerprint scanner, the iris scanner. You can set up a pin pattern or password, or you could just leave it blank. Now, one thing I gotta tell y'all that I don't like about this phone already, add that to the list, is the fingerprint sensor placement. It's just way too high up. It should have been in the middle, a little bit lower, because this is a big giant phone. I don't like the fingerprint sensor placement, but having a Galaxy S8 Plus with the same exact fingerprint placement, I gotta keep it real with y'all, I never use the fingerprint sensor at all on this, never. Once you got an iris sensor, you're never gonna use the fingerprint sensor anyway, so that kinda negates that. A lot of people been asking me about facial recognition. Now the facial recognition, it's not supposed to be tamper proof, it's not unbeatable, it's a convenience. All right, now if you're chilling with somebody that's always up in your phone, then you're not gonna wanna use facial recognition because they could just take a picture of you and unlock it. When you're looking for maximum security, you're gonna wanna use the iris sensor. All right, so we'll set up iris sensor. Let's throw some more information in. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now I just put my information in the phone, I've been playing around with it for a few minutes, and I gotta be honest with y'all, I know haters gonna say I'm a hype beast, but I don't care, Samsung Knights got my back. On a scale of one to 10, this phone is a major, 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 major go. Now if you watch my channel, you know that's the highest rating that you could get on any product. I am feeling this phone so heavy. Now keep in mind, this is just off the rip. I'm gonna have to put it through the paces. We'll test it out for a full week. There's always gonna be some things that I don't like, but as of right now, I don't see nothing else touching this for a few reasons. Other than the obvious, the look, the size, the build, the feel, all of the features, wireless charge, water resistance, push all that to the side. The S Pen. Now the S Pen is the best feature on any phone, and this is the only phone that's doing it. That's why nothing else is gonna be able to touch this. And other than the S Pen, the camera. Now up until today, I would have said the iPhone 7 Plus got the best portrait mode. We got a new champ in the building. The Galaxy Note 8 has the best portrait mode camera available right now. Now, of course, we got some other new phones coming out. We got the Essential V30, Pixel XL2, iPhone 8. We'll put all those you know, to the test. But right now, today, this is the best portrait mode. So when y'all looking at my Instagram and you see that cheeseburger and the background is all blurred out, I took it with the Galaxy Note 8. 
Now, number one thing I gotta mention real quick too, when I unboxed this, there was a 256 gig uh, SD card in the box, but I took it out last night to put it in my camera. Gotta throw that out there. We also got the Gear VR. We'll take a look at that in a second. Now let's run through some things that I do like so far. Now, of course, the one thing that I don't like and do like at the same time is the fingerprint sensor. I don't like the placement, but I like the functionality of it. It does work 100% of the time. All right, fingerprint sensor. I had to make sure there was no thought activity on screen. Fingerprint sensor works perfectly. I just wish it would have been a little bit lower, but it is what it is. With this phone, you're not even gonna need the fingerprint sensor because you got the iris sensor. You see when I hit the button, you see that red light pops up? All I gotta do now is look at the phone. I'm not gonna use the fingerprint sensor. All I gotta do is look at the phone and it automatically opens up. That is one of the best features. Oh, I, <laughs> y'all didn't even see that. See, I'm trying to do this from a funny angle. Y'all can't really see from back here, but trust me when I tell you the iris sensor, you're not gonna need the fingerprint sensor. Now you also have other ways to open it. You can use your pad in. You can use your, uh, if you got a pad in setup, just swipe up. Look, you see that? Now you can change this. They got some new, um, <laughs> they got some new iris sensor mask. I went with the Thor version. Just listen. Now if y'all, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all listen. Listen to the click and watch how fast this opens up. Y'all hear that click? Hold on, let me do that again. I know this is the worst test, but trust me, I, I'll, I'll get into this a little bit deeper. But there's other ways you can open. You got facial unlock, and you also got Bixby voice. So that kind of works dope too. Let me show you how that looks. Open home screen. Tell me your voice password to continue. Flamingo. Voice command to open up your phone. So that's pretty dope. So if your phone is laying flat like this, now you don't got to worry about the fingerprint sense on the back. If somebody's watching you, you ain't got to. They ain't got to see your uh, your pin, but they will hear your voice command, which you could always change every day, which I plan on doing. Now let's talk about some other stuff that I'm definitely feeling. The display, the display on this phone, is nothing short of breathtaking. Now y'all know how I feel about the AMOLED panels. This is the Infinity display. Look how deep and rich the blacks are. Now, of course, I like maximum brightness. The viewing angles on this, perfect. This is incredible. The display on this phone is gonna blow you away. Wait till you see it in person. Speakers, let's do a quick test. Now, this is not, gonna, this is not a review. I just wanna go through some basic stuff. Listen to the speakers on this. Down firing speaker, but it's definitely nice and loud. Listen to this. crazy now my only gripe is come on samsung y'all see how htc is doing it y'all see how apple is doing it motorola they did it on the top put another speaker in the top let's get that dual sound if this had the dual speakers it would have been game over for a lot of other phones what else camera let's take a look at the camera real quick let's find something to shoot let me find something really beautiful to shoot and since we're talking about beauty whoo look at that quick point and shoot this is just incredible. Now, the camera's not gonna do it any justice. Look at that, look at that full screen. This phone is, <laughs> I know, let me calm down. I'm trying not to be, look, you, you almost can't tell the difference with, from the table and the camera. This phone is, yo, know, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. The camera on this, we'll go through, when I do the full review, we'll go through the portrait mode, we'll go through all of the different settings. But you do got um, all your basic filters, you got your stickers, you could download a whole bunch of other ones. Let's see for picture size. You got all the way up to uh, uh, 40, 30 by 3024. And for video size. Now you got UHD, that's uh, 3840 by 2160. And you also got FHD 1920 by 1080, 60 frames per second. It's gonna look nice and smooth. All right, so the camera on this is incredible. Now, one of the best features about this phone, matter of fact, hold up, I'll save that for last. I'll save that for last. Whoo, I'm too hype, I'm too hype. Let's go through the edge panels real quick. Now you got your basic edge panels. If you had a Note or a Galaxy S8, you know the deal with these already. I got the People Edge, you got Device Maintenance, Sports, Weather, and the Apps Edge. Now of course you can hit Settings and you can add more panels. And if you go to Download, they got a bunch of new panels. Check out the Edge Maps, that's gonna look so great. You got the uh, Edge Lighting, different Edge Lightings. Now I'm buying all of these. Some of these are $2, a dollar, whatever. I don't care, I'm buying all of these. 
All right, so you got your different edge panels. You do got the edge light in this back, which is customizable. I'll go through that in a second. Now, for your apps edge, this is one of the new features. You got your dual apps. So say you're at your home screen. You can set this up any way you want. Once I scroll over, I can hit one button. It's going to open up YouTube and a second app at the same time. Now, say I want to do YouTube and Amazon. I could customize this to open up YouTube and Amazon at the same time. So now while I'm watching videos, I could be browsing and shopping at the same time. But without having to do two, you know, two separate uh, inputs, press one button and you're right in the game. All right, so you got split screen view. That's kind of crazy. Now, let me show you my favorite features of this phone so far, the S Pen. Now that's the reason why you're buying this phone. Now I'll do a little size comparison in a second so you can see the difference between this and the S8 Plus. But if you notice, this one is a little bit more square. So if you, if you had a Galaxy Note before, you like that squareness. Uh, you don't want it to be curved displays and all the roundness. You want a big square phone and they delivered heavy on this one. S Pen, check this out. No, oh, real quick, let me do a little wipe down. Here's another thing always on display now lg they did it big on the v30 the always on display lg might have the best always on display right now because they give you the option to make it brighter so they might be winning in that department but it doesn't matter the always on display on this is a go and it's functional so if i got a message i could tap on that then open the phone and take me to my message but i'm not going to do that just yet let me show you the s pen you pull the phone out of your pocket you take out your s pen you automatically in screen right. So let's call Mike. Now shout out to everybody that was calling Mike. That's not a real number and there's no area code. It's just a fake number, calm down. 739-8194. Call Mike. Now I can pin this if I want. We can hit pin. Now I can pin this app to my always on display. All right, so now it's pinned to the always on display. So now when I take the phone out of my pocket and the display pops up, that reminder's right there. You're not gonna forget. All right, so fellas, when it's your girl's birthday, pin that reminder to your, uh, to your display so this way you don't forget. Then we could just trash it. Bang, just like that. Now, check this out. Here's another, here's another nice feature about the screen, right? The phone is off. Pull out the S Pen. Let's do call Dave. Call Dave uh, at 11. Now, scroll down. Got another page. Call Bob. Buy some Ciroc. The point is, you got 100 pages. So that's a lot of notes. You could actually use this if you went to a meeting at work and you don't got a pen and paper. You could just keep taking notes and keep sc uh, scrolling down. And you can use this as a personal memo pad. Then you could also pin it to your home display or you could just save it in notes. Now I'm going to save those in notes. Oh, also, let me show you one more thing. All right, so call Mike, right? Instead of Mike, oh, matter of fact, let me call Dave, hit the button, and just erase. This is so lit. This is one of my favorite features so far. Now, speaking of S Pen, let's go through, let's go through uh, some of the S Pen features real quick. I'm trying not to make this take too long, but this phone just has so many features, and that's why you're buying this, man, and that's one of the reasons why I can't really complain about the price. It's a whole lot of money, but you get a whole lot of phone any other phone that you're buying for $1,000, basically, you're not getting all of these features. Now, if you came up like me and you bought the, um, and you had a Galaxy Note 7 and you did the trade-in and you got $425 off, basically you're spending $550, plus I got the 360 camera, this is a major win. Shout out to Samsung, they did it big. Even if you didn't have the Note and you trade-in is something else and you got the $300 off, you get the SD card, get a fast charger, get the 360 camera, not to mention, you get the headphone jack, uh, headphone jack you get headphones to plug in your headphone jack this ain't a bad deal at all now when you pull this out you got create note view all notes smart select all right now i'm going to go through all of these in in full detail but y'all know smart select select that's how i make my animated gifs for when i'm doing my trolling on the go you got screen right y'all just seen that now you got live message now, anybody that has an iPhone, I know what y'all hate is going to say, oh, Apple already had live messages, oh, that's old. I know, I know. But the thing is, you got an S Pen. So if you try to use live message with your iPhone and you're trying to draw those hearts and you try to draw little messages with your finger, it's whack. Now with the S Pen, you're going to be able to draw quality live messages. You got Translate. So now we can stop going to Red Lobster, start going to fancy restaurants, translate the menu on the go. Crazy. You got Bixby Vision, and you can also add more. So you see I added Facebook and YouTube, but if you hit Add Shortcuts, 
You got a bunch of different shortcuts that you can add. Now I'm still downloading, let's see. I got 91 out of 127 apps, so if you see a little hiccup here and there, the phone is not lagging, I'm doing stuff and downloading a bunch of apps in the background at the same time. Oh, of course, let me now, for all y'all cats, y'all dummies that be putting your pants on upside down, no, you can't put the S Pen in backwards, all right? Just had to throw that out there. All right, so what else? Let's take it to the settings real quick. Now we'll just breeze through some of these. Let's go to uh, notifications. All right. Matter of fact, let's let, let's see anything uh, advanced. All right, so now check. This is so much stuff. This could be a full review right here. You got Smart Stay. As long as you're looking at the phone, the display is gonna stay on. Identify spam numbers. I mean, little things like that is what's killing this phone, making it so making it so dope. You got your fingerprint sensor gestures. Now, I forgot to show y'all that. Check this out. From the home screen, when I open up my fingerprint sensor, I'm gonna use the fingerprint sensor and scroll up and down. So I'm scrolling up and down, and that's gonna open up your notification bar. That is a dope little feature right there. Get used to using that. Split screen view. I ain't, some of the stuff I didn't bother to set up yet, but y'all know already. Uh, quick launch for the camera, double tap the home button. Uh, double tap the uh, power button. That's your world star button. You got smart capture. You got palm swipe. We're gonna go through all this. Let me just chill out now, cause otherwise we're gonna be here all day. So many features. This 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 is gonna be an hour long review, cause we gotta go through everything. But the build of this, the the build quality, the look, the feel. I'm telling y'all, man, get the black version. Now the orchard gray. Ah. Uh, I like the adamantium silver a little bit better, but the orchard gray, it does look good in person. When you hold it in the light, it has a hint of purple and it changes colors a little bit. All of them are fingerprint magnets because of the glass back, so let's get a wipe down. Always bet on black. I, nothing looks better than the all black everything. Look how sleek this looks. Only in the super direct light can you see the bezels and it ain't really that much bezels to see. This is a go. Now let's do a little size comparison, just for anybody that wants to know if you upgraded. Now if you upgraded from a Galaxy S8 Plus to the Note 8, uh, it depends. Now is that a worthy upgrade? It depends, because if you find somebody to buy this one off you for 500 or 600 bucks, then do it, especially when you see that S Pen in action. Size wise, basically the same size. The Note 8 is a little bit bigger, but the Note 8 has the square shape and the S8 Plus has the round shape with the curved display. If I had to choose, I like the square shape. This is a note, this is a productivity phone. You don't want it to be too, you know, too fancy with all the curved displays. You get out in the sunlight, you can't see certain, certain parts of the screen because of the curve. You don't need that. So that's how that's gonna look. So you're upgrading from a Galaxy S7 Edge. This is a major upgrade. Look at the size difference. Right, the phone is a lot taller a little bit wider, and just looks better. Now, say you had your Galaxy Fireball 7. You got you, you might have the fan addition to this too, it is what it is, but you're missing one thing, the dual cameras. So a lot of people were saying, oh, I got the Galaxy Note 7, it doesn't make any sense to get the Note 8. Once you see that portrait mode, if you're heavy into photography, which pretty much everybody is, not you don't have to be a professional photography, but a photographer, but everybody's using social media, everybody's taking pictures all day, why wouldn't you want a better camera? This is a better camera, the phone is a lot bigger. Now here's the thing about that adamantium silver that I didn't like with the Note 7, that home button on the front, even though I like the fingerprint sensor on the front, but that home button always gets scratched up and it makes your phone look like trash. So now you got it on the back, you ain't gonna have to worry about that, but you don't have that silver like that. Now a lot of people, they love the S Pen so much, when they had their Fireball 7 and they traded it back in, they went with the Note 5. So here's how your upgrade is gonna look from your Note 5 to your Note 8. Note 8, taller phone. It's a taller phone, it just feels better in the hands, it doesn't have these sharp bezels on the side. And look at the front. I mean, come on. Look at the front. This is a real upgrade. So if you got your Note 5, RIP that Note 5 and get the Note 8. Now, just for fun, why not LG V30? <sighs> hold up. <laughs> hold up, y'all. On a side note, this might be the sleeper phone of the year. Now, we got to get the essential phone and play with that first. Of course, we got to get the iPhone 8. And of course, we got to get the Pixel XL 2 and a few other phones coming out, you know, right after that. 
but this might be the sleeper phone of the year. I've been playing with this phone every day now. The LG V30 is a certified beast. Now they did it right with the silver. You see you got silver, but silver in between the camera. Samsung, they, 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 they screwed that one up. Now that black in between the camera, it looks whack on the silver. LG did it right with the silver. But size comparison, the Note 8 is a taller phone. The display is bigger, but you got a better always on display, but no S Pen. Without the S Pen, you can't really compare anything to this phone. You have to compare this to the S8 Plus, to be fair, because the S Pen is shutting shit down. Now, most beautiful phone on the market. I don't know, man. I, the, the, the HTC U11, it might, it, this might still be the most beautiful phone. Let's, let's, why not? Let's wipe this down. Maximum effect. Look at this, man. Anytime, and I'm keeping it real with y'all, anytime I'm outside and I got this phone in hand, somebody asks me what phone is that? Or I accidentally go like this and catch the sun and blind somebody, this phone is just crazy. Now, a lot of people have been asking me um, about cases and all that. I haven't used a uh, case on this phone in weeks, and you see it still looks beautiful, but I do be babysitting it. So who knows? I might end up doing the same thing with my Note 8 because I want to feel this. Right? I want to feel this. So anyway, what we got coming up this week? Cases, all right, shout out to all my caseaholics. We got plenty of cases on deck. We got the usual suspects, UAG, Spigen. We got the uh, caseologies. We got the ghost techs, VRS. We got all the usual suspects on deck, but I just ordered yesterday, which I think is gonna be my favorite case, the Samsung Alcantara case. Now this one is for my S8 Plus. Look at this case. Now. The video's not gonna do this justice. Anybody that drives a, a race car, a luxury car, y'all know how Alcantara feels. This case just makes your phone feel so dope. And it's actually been lasting the test of time. Now, I've been beating it up. You might see a little wear and tear here and there, but I've been pretty much using this as a daily case in the gym, everywhere, and it still looks great. So it's a little on the pricey side, but it's worth it. I have one coming in for the Galaxy Note 8. Now, real quick, the Gear VR, I'm not even going to get into this right now. I'll just show y'all the main difference between this one and last year's version is this one says compatible with S8, S8 Plus, and go down the line. And this one says Note 8, S8, S8 Plus, and everything down the line. All right, so we'll do a separate video for the Gear VR. Y'all already know how I feel about that Gear VR, though. Crazy. You need one of those, too. Anyway, so far, fresh out of the box, this is my new favorite phone. This is, this is incredible. All right, this phone is incredible. There's a few things that I don't like that I'm thinking about already, but it is what it is. Hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all want me to cover during the real review, but y'all know it's gonna be a long review. We're gonna go through everything. If you're on the fence, all right, if you're on the fence and you're thinking about order this, or ordering this phone, think no further, place your order immediately. And if I was you, I would try to hurry up and order so you could take advantage of one of these deals. You could get a free, uh, free wireless charge. You could get the uh, Gear VR, get the SD card, or get the 360 camera. Take advantage of one of these deals. Get this phone, you need this. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock, one to beam up. Enterprise out. Energize. <laughs>